Castlevania Lords of Shadow. If your idea of an excellent video game is a visually stunning epic adventure filled with challenge, struggle, and frustration, then you're ready to step into the shoes of Gabriel Belmont and challenge Castlevania Lords of Shadow. But if your idea of a fun video game is button mashing combined with non-stop hack and slash gameplay, then you might want to look elsewhere. This is one for those of you who think that most games have gotten too easy. Haha! <laughs> Not so, says Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Remember when Castlevania games used to kick your ass? Well, that time is back. But am I up for a lengthy struggle? A deep question that you may or may not need to ask when making your decision on whether or not you want to challenge Castlevania Lords of Shadow. An easy mistake would be to point your finger at the screen and say, this is like Castlevania meets God of War. No, not really. This is more like Castlevania meets Mirror's Edge. Uh, the gameplay is totally different, but it's the kind of game that's this beautiful visual masterpiece you want to experience and play through, but its definition of playthrough is stop and start gameplay. You won't go anywhere easily. Castlevania Lords of Shadow encourages you to replay levels and go back and explore after you've sufficiently strengthened your character. There's areas that you can't even reach until you've equipped various things and have become stronger and replaying levels the second or third time is, is a lot of fun. It's playing them the first time that that becomes a bit tedious. This game is a lot slower than God of War. This game is a lot slower than Dante's Inferno. These games may all live in the same genre and share similar elements and they're all visually stunning masterpieces, but the pacing is totally different. This is like uh, the equivalent of the 12 hour cut of Lord of the Rings. You either like it or you don't. It's beautiful. It gives you more time to appreciate the incredible visuals and the impeccable design and detail and music but after a while it feels a bit laborious. And I like mindless button mashing non-stop gameplay. But I also like beautiful visuals and rich music and production value. This game walks a fine line between fun and majestic. The gameplay is intentionally tricky. You will have to be good at timing and memorization to get through Castlevania Lords of Shadow. For instance, blocking is essential. You have to become good at blocking, and I never block in video games. You've also got to learn every trick in the book. Like other games in this genre, there's various button combinations that you unlock as you play through the game, giving you different attacks. You essentially have light magic and dark magic, giving you an even wider variety of ways to approach each battle and regenerate health during combat. And then there's quick time events on top of that, which will frequently attack you when you least expect it. I'm slaughtering my way through Rivendell. Now seriously, button mashers need not apply. It's just not that kind of game. I think this will appeal to those who enjoy the challenge in the God of War series. I think this will appeal to those of you who enjoyed the excellent Demon's Souls. And this is one of those games where you get what you pay for. Like Frogger. Castlevania Lords of Shadow packs a massive campaign that encourages you to play it multiple times. Like the first time that you get any upgrade in this game, you'll want to go back and play the first couple levels because you can then get to new areas, get uh, new health, increase your magic power, earn experience points to buy new moves. And trust me, you'll need all the health and magic that you can get. And because the camera perspective is controlled by the game, you don't have control of the camera with the right analog stick. There's areas in the levels which are somewhat hidden unless you explore the entire level, and they're very intricate. So exploration is a big part of Castlevania Lords of Shadow, except it's annoying when you explore and find something that you just can't unlock yet, because then you gotta remember to go back there later. It, it's just that kind of game. It doesn't make life easy for you, but it does reward you with a very cool storyline and a memorable, visually stunning adventure. I could have spent the entire review just gushing about the audio and visuals in this game, and they shouldn't go overlooked because it's, it's just stunning. Production value is amazing in here, and I don't think they should be taken for granted because clearly a lot of work went into Castlevania Lords of Shadow. 
This is one of those games that really should be enjoyed on a giant HD TV with surround sound. I love the parts when he's rappelling into caverns and there's waterfalls all around you and the designers have just placed you into this environment. But it's an environment which is more fun to play through the second time. Unless you're like the master of these games. I, I always ran into boss battles and had to play them four or five times just to figure out what I was supposed to do. But that's me, I'm a button masher. My solution is always the same. Call for air support, nuke the entire place from orbit, find the nearest space station with a good bar and pinball machine, and spend the rest of the day there. As with any game this beautiful that takes itself this seriously, any technical glitches stand out and jump off the screen. There's a few instances where I had to restart a level because I threw away a lever that was needed to open a door. Some of the puzzles were irritating. And at times it, it just feels like it needed a good laugh. Like a fart joke or something. Thrown, thrown in, out of place. Just to lighten the mood, it's so heavy. It's the Lords of Shadow. Maybe they can make an expansion pack. Castlevania, Lords of Acid. Yeah.